hello, hello. Remember me? I just want to give you guys a little bit of information. I'm back with the new vlog. Hang on, I'm struggling. Okay, I'm gonna try to like make this vlog about these two student films that I did and try to take you through the process with me. Started with a message that I got on backstage inviting me to apply for a student film. So I did, I applied and then they messaged me back and they said, we'd like you to send in a self tape. So I did that and I'll show you guys how I did that now. So I got a message on backstage yesterday that they wanted me to send in a self tape for this, I think it's a student film, a satirical skit about an indecisive millennial girl. Hello. Self tapes are my favorite kind of audition because one, I don't have to leave my house and two, because I feel like I get a couple of different opportunities to get it right before I send it in, which can also sometimes be a bad thing because I get a little bit of a perfectionist thing happening and then I do it 500 times only to send in like the second one that I did. But it's nice because it's chill, there's no pressure, you know, if I mess up, it's not the end of the world, I can stop and start over. So I have my wonderful, my wonderful Hi. Skylar, who's going to be my reader. And essentially you just set up a camera. I have the script in front of me, he gets the script in front of me, we go back and forth till the scene's done. And then, yeah, you send it off and hope for the best. What? Oh, I thought you were laughing at me. I was like, I didn't even do nothing funny. 1% milk. It's 1%. Okay. Anyway, so that's what we're doing this afternoon. I've got to leave for work in 40 minutes. So we kind of need to get this show on the road, but I'm waiting for Skylar. I'm ready. Oh, okay. I was waiting on him, but it turns out he's ready. So here we go. So after I sent in the self tape, it took about a day, maybe a little less than, and I got word back that said that they would like me to be a part of the project. Yay! So I got up early one morning and I went and shot it. And here's that. Hello, hello, good morning. It is a beautiful 6.30 a.m. And I realize that as I complain about that, but a lot of people get up at 6.30 in the morning, but <laughs> I am not one of them. I am as chipper as one can be because today is film day. I'm gonna be on set today filming a couple student films and I thought I'd bring you guys along. So stay tuned. Look at this. You know it's early when the bodega's not even open. <sighs> no coffee for me. I've actually got two student films that I'm filming today. First one called Time 7.30 a.m. in Brooklyn. Then the second one is at 4 p.m. in Washington Square Park. I'm still mastering the other one from okay, like a year ago. Just give me five seconds. To to and then I always see, like, I follow Diplo, and he's always doing this one where he's like. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> That's because I'm doing it entirely wrong. <laughs> Wait, this way. Because then the camera will see it from that side, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's almost three o'clock and we just wrapped the first shoot. It was a long one. Um like eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen. 
like eight-ish hours. We had a lot of noise problems, which is mainly why it took so long, which is why people shoot in studios and why people don't shoot in New York because there's traffic, there's people talking, there's construction, and we have to hold on set every time there's noise because it interferes with everything. So that took a little bit of time, but we did end up wrapping on time, almost a little bit early. I'm headed back into Manhattan for sign love. I'm tired, but it's a good day, and we will check back in. Hello, hello. We are back in Manhattan, and it is raining, but it's not that bad, so it could definitely be worse weather to be having. I am heading down to the dorm buildings where we are shooting, because I am now a college kid. I am here, live reporting from an NYU dorm room. The boys are filming a scene right outside that door, so I can't make any noise, but I wanted to show you live and in person. Look at this. Look, look at the view they have here. That's, that's the Freedom Tower. When I was in school, I had a view of whoever lived across the street from me, like in the same building, so that's kind of messed up. That's a wrap. Finished up two hours ahead of schedule. I wish I could have had my phone. We did a part outside in the rain and it was set in summer. So I've got a dress and sandals on in the rain and it's like also 40 degrees out. I've got a coat on, but I didn't then because I'm a good little actor and they were like apologizing all over themselves. It was so sweet. They're like, oh my gosh, you're so cold. I'm so sorry. But I was just sitting there. I was like, I love this. This is so great. I'm having so much fun. So I feel like that's how you know when you're really doing something that you love. And this is a good day for me because I got to spend a million hours being super sleepy and doing what I love and trying to bring you guys along with me as much as I could. Yeah, it's been a good day, guys, and I'm happy. And I can't wait for you guys to see this. And I'll share some snippets, maybe, probably, I'm not making any promises, of the stuff when it's finished. Yeah, it's been an awesome day. Thank you guys so much. And remember, we're all just figuring it out. So keep dreaming. See you later, bye. I tripped. <laughs>